What's up everyone, Jake Boyer here with Apocalypse Movies and I am joined by Brian Avalicino and we are here to do a trailer breakdown of the brand new Star Wars The Last Jedi trailer. Yes, the trailer just dropped a few hours ago. Everyone is talking about it. You can see our live reaction to the trailer up on our channel. We'll put that in the description as well. Uh, we did a raw reaction to it while watching the halftime show. Very raw. Um, it, was, it was definitely a cool experience, but we're here to do a trailer breakdown. We're going to try and go scene by scene, biggest moment by biggest moment. Um, and what we decided to do is actually go uh, full screen images. So this will actually turn out to be an audio video once we cut to the trailers, uh, trailer images that is. Um, before we get to that though, Brian, how much did you enjoy this trailer? Uh, I still am speechless. <clears throat> probably watched it about 10 times already and I could watch it another hundred yeah there's so many things to talk about in this trailer we're gonna go and try we're gonna try and go as quick as we possibly can um, but there's just too many things to talk about and we're gonna get into theories and thoughts and like speculation and all this type of stuff and probably some debates here and there on what's gonna happen um, but for me the trailer is everything we were kind of just expecting mm -hmm. what we wanted uh, it very much looks like one of the most different possibly the most different Star Wars movie of all time. Dark, gritty, grounded. Dark um, again. Yeah, dark again, seriously. Uh, so we're gonna get into that. Uh, we're gonna start off with the, you know, going just in, in order with the first image of Kylo Ren in the... Um, hangar? In the hangar, I guess you would say. Yeah, and then we'll kinda go forward from there. All right, Brian, so we got the first image of Kylo, like we had mentioned, in the hangar, um, some kind of first order base that we may not know about. Uh, and this is where the voiceover from Snoke kind of starts talking about Kylo when he first found him, uh, kind of how powerful and raw he was. We get some really cool images of the new First Order AT-ATs, uh, how gigantic they are. Um, they are definitely double the size, maybe even bigger, what we saw from the uh, Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, and they definitely look like they have some type of additive in the leg, maybe so that way they can't be taken down. And maybe they lift themselves back up. Yeah, like the guess. like the snow speeders in the Empire Strikes Back when they cable them. And, yeah, uh, yeah. He's alluding to uh, they look like they almost have like little ankle parts um, that kind of roll over to the ground that may be become some kind of adjustment to those cables. It makes me think that they can lift themselves up if they fall down. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. And then we get a really cool shot of Kylo followed by some uh, badass looking stormtroopers with some big ass weapons. Mm -hmm. um, and it. I don't know what kind of flooring is going on, but it almost looks like it's kind of like it dried gives, out lava. It gives me like that Mustafar lava yeah. ground. It's really cool. I mean, it could be from some kind of new place we see uh, where the First Order is. What if they like went back to Darth Vader's castle? They, they possibly could. And the fact that they... Flashback they, maybe? Well, not, not maybe not a flashback, but the fact that they, uh, they teased that in Rogue One... I don't see that just being a one-off. Neither do I, but it would be cool if they went to it. Yeah, and then we get a cool shot of Kylo um, with his helmet on for the first time and, and a very, very red background with the Patriot, uh, Re Patriot Guards. Uh, I think that's what they're, they're called, Patri Patriot Guards? Uh, yeah, I think so. The Snokes, Snokes Guards, we'll Snokes say that. Snokes Red Guards. Snokes Guards, um, they're in all red, and Kylo's picking up his saber again with some cool voiceover from Snoke. Uh, he sounds incredibly menacing. Andy Serkis' voice sounds incredibly scary and just dark. Um, and then right before the, the trailer cuts to Lucas from Logo, of course, we see Rey igniting her saber. And the one thing I said when we first saw this trailer is how thick the saber is. And I know that you personally, uh, aside from me, you personally um, don't really like the, the design of the saber and how kind of circular and pointed and really sharp and finite the saber looks uh i wouldn't go that far i just didn't like how the angle of her about to slash the rock it looked kind of just like a like the toy at the end uh, from the side angle i think it looks awesome yeah i from, like the thickness of it yeah from the f very front I, it kind of just looks like a piece of glass yeah and that, that image pops up a little bit later but the next image after the lucasfilm symbol is ray handing luke his old saber. We kind of finally get a little bit of that final scene in The Force Awakens. Um, no words, of course, but it looks like that scene will definitely be played out in the beginning of the film. And then we get one of the more interesting shots in the trailer as far as Rey um, climbing some kind of steps or hill in, in uh, on Octo, where Luke has been residing, and it's very foggy. There's some kind of uh, structures in, in the distance that we see here. What do you think this can possibly be? I... I 
every single time I look at it, the very first thing I see is ruins. The only thing is it looks too small to be ruins, but she's definitely on some type of adventure looking for something. Yeah, we know that at the first um, Jedi Temple resides there on Octo. Yep. And we see the, the Guardians of the Wills books in the trailer, the two trailers so far. And this could possibly be the the final uh, ruins of that Jedi Temple. Maybe. Or some kind of building, because we don't know how long that temple's been there. No, we don't. And so, it, and we see a, tra a shot later on in the trailer that shows her coming up to the books. But um, this is the image you were talking about. And we see that the, the saber does look very, uh, you had mentioned very glassy. Yeah. It's very clear, smooth. I'm not a fan um, of the rounded tip. That's yeah, kinda... and well, we've seen sabers up close before, but they kind of have they have a very big glow on the outside, yeah. and this has a very small one. It's very condensed, and I I, I like the thickness. I prefer it than to the skinny little Obi Wan Kenobi New Hope lightsaber, <laughs> but definitely it looks a little bit glass like to me. No, I, yeah, but as for the scene, I mean, she's training, she's going to town on whatever she's doing, and yeah. it looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, the next one is. Uh, a shot. This is definitely one of the more exciting shots mm -hmm. in the trailer. Uh, we see the power of Rey. Yep. Uh, the ground starts cracking. Uh, Luke kind of becomes aware of how powerful is. She looks is. scared. Yes, he looks very scared. And this is when he he reveals that he's seen the power before. Um, and he mentioned Kylo Ren. He kind of goes to a shot of, of Kylo, and then he says, you "Now I wasn't scared of it then, but I'm scared of it now." Okay. Pretty much hinting at the fact that. He should have been scared of it before. He thought he could have handled it, but now that he fact that he's seen what could happen, he's not going to get near it. Yeah, and let's be honest, Jedi's aren't supposed to be scared. Yeah, and that's very interesting. And again, we see this uh, another shot of Luke uh, next to the burning temple, hinting at the fact that, um, hinting at the fact that his Jedi Academy uh, had burned down by the turn of Kylo Ren. Before the shot, we saw Luke coming, actually coming out of a burnt building and broken woods. Uh, with his metal hand. Mm -hmm. uh, at first, we didn't really know who it was, but then we saw the metal hand. Yeah. And it, it's a guarantee that it's Luke. Uh, from this scene, more than likely a flashback. Um, the next one is, is is where Luke reveals to Ray that, hey, basically saying, I can't train you. Like, And she looks horrified. She looks, you know... Disappointed, upset. Very disappointed. That's a very good word. Disappointed and upset. Um, and this is pretty much leading to the final touch of the trailer. She looks so good in that. Like, she looks like she's just devastated and that's you know go, just hit, going on that a second i mean she's heard about luke skywalker we're here in the yeah. force awakens i thought he was a myth like all this type of stuff so this character this guy is built up and you meet him and he turns out to be this giant disappointment i mean yeah. it's gotta hurt you a little bit yeah she uh, just her facial expression she's just i it gets me excited just to see the disappointment just yeah, small things definitely and then uh moving on this this part of the trailer caught us off guard it had us rewinding back and forth like crazy uh it starts off with uh, kylo ren saying a few few words slamming his helmet into the wall and we kind of get a, a good glimpse at his new scar and it looks like it's covered by ca uh by carbon um maybe a little protective shield for his scar and then we see him in his starfighter um oh, I cannot his wait new starfighter and he's flying around some ships you know there's big space battles which is what we didn't get in um, the Force Awakens, we finally see some space battles, and man, is it menacing! And then it goes to a shot of Carrie Fisher as Leia, yep. and then it goes quickly back to Kylo Ren, and he's talking about some stuff, and it's hinting at Kylo Ren shooting down Prince or General Leia's ship, and this is definitely one of the more of the shocking parts of the trailer. Um, it's fantastically shot. We see Kylo's uh, thumb on the trigger. It goes to a shot of his face, and he looks like he's just contemplating shooting it. There's some things maybe holding him back. Um, but this, I mean, this is one of the going to be one of the most talked about parts of this trailer. Is he going to kill his mom? If he does, it solidifies him as one of the most ruthless, evil... I think you could say he will be the ruthless because Vader didn't kill Luke. No, and he will be hated by millions of people if he kills Princess Leia general leia um uh, i don't even have words because <laughs> i can't even fathom them doing that but i remember when the force awakened first came out they said they wanted to make him evil and that would definitely solidify it if he kills off both his parents 
then well yeah i mean after after the events of the force awakens i mean there we knew there was an opportunity for them to go as dark as they possibly w they could for me i already felt like he was irredeemable if this happens he will i he will be my most hated character of all time but i will absolutely I, love it, it that's the same exact because feeling. disney and lucasfilm they went there oh yeah they're not afraid to go there and the fact that they're giving ryan johnson the okay to do this type of stuff if it happens we're not saying it will but if it happens I will totally be okay with it if it's done right because they're not afraid to go there. I don't think they're – and, you know, we saw it in Rogue One. Spoiler alert. They killed everyone basically in Rogue One. <laughs> the real Suicide Squad. So, <laughs> I mean, they clearly will go there if they feel it's right. But let's keep going. I'm ready for more. Yeah, no, this uh, – the next couple shots of the Millennium Falcon flying some – Flying through some interesting uh, structures inside a, a planet or building, maybe. I think it looks um, like honestly like crystals underground, and which might be a hint at crate because we've seen the red uh, the red dust from crate when yes, the uh, when the rebel ships hit the ground, and this could be a hinting at maybe the inside of crate is filled with red crystals. Maybe. Um, next shot, we see Chewie and the Porg, the long-awaited Porg, and makes a, its first sound, <laughs> the one laugh-out moment from the trailer. Um, and then finally we see Oscar Isaac's Poe Dameron. He has a good little cameo in the trailer, a good little voiceover talking about the rebellion. Um, we see some of his flying skills yeah, it, it, in oh, space. That's the one part that we're both very much looking forward to is seeing Poe in space because we saw him in the force awakens. We saw him, um, you know, shoot down a ton of ships on Maz Kanata's planet where her palace was. And it was a beautiful tracking shot killing like 12 or 13 uh, enemy ships now we get to see him in space in battle fighting tie fighters fighting big ships and it looks very very exciting it looks very very good and s super excited about it yeah no the explosions the the I, i'm excited for for ryan johnson and action sequences because we haven't seen him take on this type of stuff yet looper had some great action se sequences but they are very small yep this film looks epic it looks huge scale proportions of stuff yeah and then moving on the next one is one we all screamed in joy about you yes. can see it in the live reaction trailer but it we finally see finn versus captain phasma after their confrontation in the force awakens finn locks her in a trash compactor um you know he used to work under her in her unit and now they're finally going at it which in the background you know just talking about the background a little bit there looks like chaos everywhere oh you see if you look closely you got first order troopers laying dead on the background and just chaos when well, it looks like it's a first order base because this is where finn goes undercover yep and he's in the first order uniform uh captain phasma sees him he has and what's interesting is she has her own little weapon and she you know the gwendolyn staff. chrissy uh brianna tarth we know what she can do with a sword oh yeah what's interesting is finn is using the same weapon the, the stormtrooper from the first movie is, is using the one he went up oh, against yeah Oh, yeah, the executioner. Yeah, yeah, so that's that's quite interesting they did that, but this scene is definitely going to be most talked about. It's one that we're all waiting for. Oh, I'm, give me it. And I'm it's going to be interesting it. because we've heard great things about Captain Phasma. What has really Finn had, and what does he kind of learn as part of the Resistance? Um, but I'm happy to see Phasma kind of getting her time because she was she was a disappointment in The Force Awakens with her screen time. So. Oh, yeah. Uh, some more space battles, of course. A close-up of Phasma with the, uh, with the, electric, with the executioner style... Uh, lightning going on from the uh, weapon looks very cool. Yep. Very cool shot. We see BB-8, um, the one shot of him. Uh, look at the graphics in that image. I mean, it's it looks so realistic. This whole oh, yeah. trailer, it's one thing you kind of go about is it looks so fantastically realistic. Yep, I agreed. And then this shot, we see Luke lying down in the rain. Um, looks like he's been beaten. It does, it? and I think this is, this is kind of where I, I started thinking about what if Luke and Rey, you know, Rey kind of steps up to the plate, per se, and is like, I need to get this guy back in action. How do I do that? He goes up against her. Yeah. And, and kind of pushes him to his limits until he realizes what's going on. Yeah, I told you before. He almost kind of seems like he has like a little bit of like PTSD from Kylo a little bit. And just is this pure fear of the possibility of what Rey could end up being. And, you know, it's she might be even fighting him at this point screaming yeah. out of good in his face yeah and just like the first trailer he has a really good line here and he says something along the line like it won't happen like you think it will yeah. um so meaning that you know it may go bad the next shot after that shot we see the star wars version of the dire wolf yeah. and this is interesting because in the star wars rebels trailer we've seen a big white wolf type creature oh yeah could this be it true very 
little hint at rebels maybe possibly but it. again you know star wars using the ability of creatures and creativity and seeing all these different animals and um just things they're kind of creating it's very cool just little additions here and there we see leia outside some uh, giant hangar uh, who knows where that is what it means when it is in the film just another shot of leia and carrie fisher you know as her final shot or final time in this movie um in the next shot we see ray and luke kind of a follow-up of that rainy shot we just recently saw of luke um and it, this could end up being a battle scene between the two of them. Maybe the final moment where Ray finally is like, hey, we need you, dude. We need you to come back and be Luke Skywalker. We need you because the the First Order is on the rise. They're coming at us hard right now. Yeah, um, right before this photo, you see her coming out of the water. And she looks wet. Possibly what I think is this connecting to that photo of him laying on the ground yeah. that we just saw. Yeah. And maybe some type of confrontation just happened between them. Who knows? Yeah, and then we see a little bit of Finn. Um, he looks super pissed off. Uh, he, there's stormtroopers following. We don't know if he's been captured or if he's still undercover. Um, and then we see a, a clip of the giant hangar for the First Order. Tons of stormtroopers, tons of officers for the First Order, looking like they may do battle. This could end up being in a. This could end up being the scene where Phasma and Finn are actually fighting, and that whole hangar might blow up, which would be yeah. insane. For me, every single time I think or see this hangar, I'm thinking of Snoke's ginormous ship. Yeah, it sounds. It it definitely it feels like that. because I personally don't think that they're gonna have another planet that they can just go to. His ship is freaking huge. So and this scale looks like it could be potentially the same size, like size of ship versus planet where they run this operation. It looks like an extra edition super starter story. Exactly. Um, and yeah, and then we move on and we see uh, some more AT-ATs on crate, uh, some TIE fighters being shot down, some cool little action swings kind of teasing that. But then the big shot of the trailer, one of the big shots, we get our first glimpse of Snoke in person. Mm -hmm. um, he's wearing the golden robes we've seen in toys and Legos this far. Uh, and he has an interesting, interesting conversation. He says, you basically... Go to your destiny. Fulfill yep. your destiny. And the next shot is he is basically, and we don't know this for sure whether it's happening or not, but she looks like she's being held by the force by Snoke. Mm -hmm. Snoke is in the background. He's wearing the golden robes. She's tipped over. Looks like she's playing limbo. It looks like and it looks like pain. it hurts. It looks yeah. like it hurts a lot. Um, but this is this is crazy. I mean, the the confrontation between these two, the the, uh, not the relationship, but the meeting between these two is going to be one of the most anticipated parts of this movie. Oh, yeah. What could it possibly mean? I couldn't even tell you at this point. <laughs> the fact that she's on that ship means that something's going down. Yeah, and then obviously the final shots of these trailers, the one that got people talking the most, uh, we see Ray Daisy Ridley. She, you know, it's a quick shot of her. There's some, uh, some oranges light coming off the side of her head, and she's saying, hey, I need someone to teach me where I am in this world, she needs where I fall in this. And the next shot is showing Kylo Ren, fiery embers in the background, another orangish color, and he puts his hand out. And possibly hinting at the fact that these two may team up. Personally, for me, I think they're two different scenes. So do I. I think that the backgrounds are, are different. And again, this is us speculating. This isn't correct. We don't know. Uh, it's just our thoughts. But I very much think that these are two different scenes. Although... Many believe that there is still a big possibility that we can see Kylo Ren and Rey becoming uh, partners, uh, allies, and taking on either the First Order or the Rebellion. I, I don't even know at this point, honestly. I just get chills every single time I yeah, see it. Nice. Um, I agree with you. The scene seems like it's different to me. It looks like she's somewhat back in the cave, if you kind of look in the background. With Luke. With, with Luke. Luke. Yes, yes. But... Either way, if they sp spun it, they gave me two months worth of stuff to think about and get excited over. I'm completely fine yeah, with it. Yeah, no, I, I am so satisfied. And like Brian said, this gives us plenty of stuff to talk about over the next couple months. We're going to be theorizing. We're going to go. We're going to be in discussions, speculations, debates. Uh, we may even do, you know, top five questions or speculative video on, on this new trailer and what could possibly happen. Some theories going forward. As for the trailer, it's absolutely fantastic. Not only as far as scale and scope, but the imagery is just amazing. It's Everything beautiful. Is there. Uh, the the special effects look finished, which is remarkable for a second trailer. Um, and also the twist and turns, like it really makes you think one way. But if you really sit back and look at it, 
that's not what's going to happen. No. They're not just going to give it to you, but I like how much we learn from this trailer because, quite frankly, going into this trailer, we knew close to nothing. Yeah, I to be honest, I still feel like I don't know very much, even see, after seeing everything we've seen so far, and I absolutely love that. I love that I'm not like thinking that I figured something out so easily but it keeps me wanting more for the next two months. Yeah, and, and I think that other studios and movies can kind of take a note off of off of Kyle or off of Star Wars. I almost said Kylo Ren. Off of Star Wars and you know the marketing and you know even though you're revealing a lot, you don't have to reveal the story points for exactly. this film. Exactly. So um, guys, thank you for joining us. A little shot for shot breakdown of this trailer. Obviously, you can see we love talking about it. Um, again, check out for uh, some more stuff going on for the Star Wars trailer, the live reaction we did, and some possible theory videos, videos going forward. Brian, before we get going, let them know where they can find you online, man. Find me everywhere on TG Scoops. Me, Jake Berlin, on Twitter and Instagram at Qui Gon Jake. This, this YouTube channel at Apocalypse Movies as well as ApocalypseMovies.com. Check out our live reaction as well as, as our main shows up on iTunes. Again, thank you for joining us, and until next time, may the force be with you.